Hi, Judy. This is Jamie. How are you? Hi, Jamie. How you doing? Doing good. Good. How's things in Louisiana? Oh, it's going pretty good. Every oh, day good. is a day. Good. So here's why I was calling. I need to get an FBI background check at the steel. And I was just wondering if you could go over the process with me. Sure. Well, I have one question first. Is it federal or is it state? Oh, my goodness. I don't really know. Oh, then how about if I just tell you the process for each one of them? Okay. If, that works. If, okay. If it's a state background check, all you really have to do is make sure that you put a notary on the back of the background check, and then you send it up to the Secretary of State with the appropriate fee, the way you would send any other document. Now, okay. recently, I will tell you, I have been adding an acknowledgement to that package because background checks don't have the words sworn to and subscribed on them. So I have been using an acknowledgement and, um, and that because they've, they've been really um, in Pennsylvania, um, much more strict about acknowledgement. So that's a state background check. Okay. Now, a federal background check is a little different. The client will usually get the federal background check in an email. They can then forward that email to you and you can forward that email to a company that I use, which is called U.S. Authentications. U.S. US Authentications will take that email and they will process that background check with the Department of State. So it saves you having to mail it, FedEx it, um, do any of those things. You just send it off to US. US will take care of it. They charge you a small fee, and then they will make sure it gets to the DOS. They will track it. They will make sure that it comes back. And the only thing is when you send them the email, you have to send them a return label so that when they get the original apostille back, they will they can send it to you. So let me understand this or, or make sure I have this right. Sure. They can work from the email? They can work from the email. Wow. They can, yes, it's, it's really good because when I started doing this, we had to send the original federal background check and then that they, they could only work from an original, but about two years ago, they started working from the email. So it's, um, it's a pleasure and it's, and it saves money, um, because you don't have to send. What I do is I send an email and I say background check for Jamie Liggins, um, attached, please find background check, return label and order form. They will then confirm that they got it. And when it's done, they will they will send you an email and they will say, Jamie, your background check is completed. We are returning it to you with the envelope that you provided. And Beth, bing, bang, boom, you get it back. So that's kind of, that's federal. Um, they are different. Um, and like I said, the state is just done the way any other state document would be apostilled. Okay, I have a question for that. Sure. The, the state document, you said that there, there will be notarized on the back. So the, I don't have to do anything. The notary wording will already be on the back? It is not, which is why you have to use an acknowledgement. Okay. You have to put an, an acknowledgement because there is nothing on the back. There's nothing on the front. There's nothing there that says sworn to and subscribe before me. So what I do is I ask the client to sign the back of it. I put my notary on it and then I attach um, an acknowledgement. And that way, um, that's, that's basically what Pennsylvania has been taking. And that's what uh, Washington DC, the Department of State, those are, those are where I get my, uh, my processes. Got it. So I took some notes and that will help me. Okay. But I'm pretty sure if I have any other questions, you will help me through the process. I will certainly help you anytime. And I, I'm, I'm looking forward 
to the conference this year, but I'm more looking forward to the conference next year so we can all see each other. It's been a long time. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it has. So, so, much. so I'll see what they bring me. And then, like I said, I can call you if I call need. me uh, at any time with any questions about that or anything else. Sounds good. Thank you, Judy. You're welcome, Jamie. Have a great rest of the weekend. You too.